Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we will discuss how to build an effective resume. It doesn't matter if you are a fresher or experienced. We have to list out our professional contents to get a job. So, with help of the resume, we can give our information to the recruiters. Right. In today's market, the resume has become the number one requirement for the employees. Before an employer will take valuable time to interview, he or she wants to meet you on paper. If you can prepare a one minute video profile and place it in your web page or LinkedIn page, it adds more value. Means not only on paper, you can speak to the recruiters before he is meeting you face to face. So how you impress the employer with your resume will make all the differences. Without a resume, you cannot even begin to participate and a low-grade resume will quickly eliminate you before you even have a fight a chance. That is why it is imperative to have a superior resume. An effective resume grabs the attention of employers and recruiters. That is why it matters how you structure your resume and what the information you decide to include. It details your skills and training, work experience and education and most importantly, the accomplishment you have made with the past employers. So the main thing is you have to prepare your resume based on the job description. So initially go through the job description, understand it, what are the key fields, key, uh, what are the keywords they are using. Use those keywords, sprinkle all over your resume and prepare a value added effective resume. Now I will show you one sample resume format. So this format you can use it. The link also I am giving in the description. You just download and you can fill wherever the appropriate columns with your information you can make use of that and save finally you can save it as a word document or save as a pdf you can use it so this one is just a word table finally after editing made you can click it right click go to the table properties borders and shading you say none and say ok ok finally you will be getting this format like this a fine-tuned one and apart from that what are the information here we are giving that should be very specific what are the information you are giving in the cv you should be responsible for that you should justify that and you have to add you have to put the uh, the proof for all the information which you are giving you see the comments also given to explain the format if you are clicking this you can see what is the profile the profile in the sense it may be hr it may be marketing or finance whatever it is so what the profile you are applying for that profile you can mention here clear so here so here it is a roll number you can put your roll number and your name certificate name don't put your nickname or first name or last name like okay so here you can put your information date of birth name email id use the official email id and a linkedin profile page if you have you can place it here and the blog web page here also you can add so here if you want to add more information beyond the first one one page cv you can make use of the linkedin profile page or blog web page so you can put n number of pages or n, n number of information about yourself right so this is the picture as a sample you delete you can insert your picture you might be knowing that just go to the insert and a picture you bring your picture and you can place it here so before that don't forget to delete this you see i am doing this just to delete this Gel delete this go to picture drive i kept on photo in the desktop i'm going to the desktop so this picture i'm selecting select this and uh, resize it according to your requirement okay right and right click wrap text and text so that you can move the picture wherever you want and justify it okay right and here this is the blog page we will discuss about the blog page later so this is the qualification column so this also separate the table you can put the year passing you put the reverse the maximum education qualification in the top and go one by one reverse chronological order your institute institute or college name 
and university qualification percentage or CGPA here. And coming to this uh, career objective, you can use the career objective. Here specific objectives that is uh, clearly defined. If you are coming to this place, you can see uh, the comments, you can uh, read the instruction and accordingly you can do that. In case if this column is not appropriate, you are not having any information, you just select and you can delete them the rows so that you can eliminate uh, from your uh, format so like this all the instructions are given you just see and find out and use your objective instructions in a bullet formats okay so finally the skills the core competencies you just uh, select this you can see the examples also already given easily we can fill and uh, and the declaration you are saying that everything is now all the information preserved here within your belief and knowledge so you can put the signature the signature part capture the signature you put the signature on a white paper capture using the mobile phone and store as a picture the jpg format you use that jpg format to place here as a digital format of your signature see here i am placing the cursor point in this block and going to insert i am going to get a picture from uh, the drive so where is the signature um so randomly i'm picking one signature minimize that a right click drop the text and behind the text so you can move it and you can place in a smaller way and tilt little bit that's it that is the matter so this is the way we can put the signature and after filling all these things all the information your uh, the CV will be looks like this okay so before that so here one picture is missing for your understanding purpose i'm placing the picture here also going to pictures and insert going to the desktop and bringing this picture and placing here this is uh, bigger in size so in the top picture format the cropping tool i'm choosing the crop tool and minimize this bottom side also i'm minimizing this okay now i can I can put the size according to my requirement right that's it if you want to move the picture right click it and go to wrap text behind the text so that you can move the picture so this picture whatever you are moving this picture is within this the column cell you see you can understand right click the crisscross and table properties click the crisscross right click table properties borders and shading you can say all and once again okay you see the picture is placed within this box right like this so finally after correcting all the informations according to your requirement you can delete the outlines so you just see the alignment the alignment here on blank space so deleting the line and uh, this picture also placed in this row and uh, little bit direction i am changing this and minimizing this okay so these are also tables i can delete this select this table and right click delete table i am deleting this okay now it is coming to this place and i can place the cursor point i can delete it now it becomes only one page right okay now i want to save this So click on the crystals, right click, table properties, borders and shading, you can say none, ok and again ok. Now see, now it has become a plain, the CV like this, ok. So alignment also properly aligned and name, date of birth, email and LinkedIn and web page also you can place. See here I want to keep on web page. So, web page okay the web page here i have one web page here so this is one student's web page see so here the student spoke about her interested area see these are the information generally speaking the recruiters won't spend much more time 
to scrutinize they will spend hardly 5 to 6 seconds on one resume they won't spend more time but if you are placing your uh, the blogs or website linkedin page if you are interestingly if you are showing your profile in a value added way by using the action keywords the action keywords means what are the keywords they are using in the resume you just understand that pick up those keywords use to construct the sentences using those keywords you see that all the keywords majority of the keywords you are sprinkle over in your resume so that they will spend at least one or two seconds by the time they are definitely watching your noticing your linkedin page or web page they will be visiting your website and the profile page so ultimately he is spending some time in your blog right you are speaking to him you can put your video the one minute video you can put your video profiling here so definitely he will be clicking on that you can speak to the recruiter so how to create these interesting and designed uh, the google sites so already i showed in my one of other video the link i am giving in the uh, description you just to go and see right so here in this place we need to put the url so how to get the url go to the web page and copy this control c and go to the url shortener for free you sec take the second one the first one asks to pay something that is why so you place this you can give the shortener this is already shortened so this one you copy this you copy this come back to your uh, cv and place it you see this is a short url so here also it is very lengthy talk with two lines no so you copy this and go to this uh, url shortener make it is short and place in a single line It's because every line is very valuable now so in this resume after filling all the information so this is the format i'm sharing with you no so these are the comments these are the just giving a comments to understand what it is for so after completion after using this format you have to delete this comment how to delete go to the the review and here you can see in the review group the delete delete all comments you see now it becomes a normal one page cv right so you can go to the file and you can copy as the word document or you can save it as a pdf format now you are getting one page the cv the main thing before using the cv the twice or thrice you just go through that cv check one by one everything is very correctly spelled or correctly nicely placed or not you check it any false information remove those false information give very specific information instead of simply saying managing a fp page you can specifically say revamp your business page on facebook that has led to over 5 to 10k followers in one month and uh, lead to a 3% increase in revenue see how we are uh, giving very valuable sentence instead of giving managed fp here we are giving very specific so try to give a valuable specific sentences specific bullet points this is very important and uh, um, in the linkedin page always in your web page instead of giving your name or about as simple you can give some professional title also along with the, your name you can say you are a mentor or you are a innovator or you can say you are a versatile person optimized person or courageous or extra i am extroverted isn't it or reliable or resilient is something you can that defines yourself in a single word okay so try to identify try to identify who you are you try to define describe yourself in a single word that is very very important and try to justify that and what you are saying you are resilient in the sense how you are overcoming very quickly you have to give some justification definitely they will be asked how can you say you are a resilient or how can you say you are a mentor you have to give some justification so add some actionable very useful fresh keywords and uh, many major and major keywords are there i am giving those uh, some industry oriented or uh, human resource oriented and the action keywords in the description in the pdf you can download just to go through that still you can find out other keywords also to build your effective resume and uh, thank you for watching this video